All right, um, I have to change a couple of things. Hated that noisy transformer, so um, I found me an old uh, microwave oven transformer, which had a good primary, but the secondary was shot. And I um, just wrapped as much um, building wire as I could get around it, but um, a bifilla wrap, which we simply um, connected in parallel to give us twice the uh, current carrying capabilities. So we were looking for about um, six bolts, four to six bolts. Um, and this was just a guess. I just kept on wrapping until I couldn't squeeze any more through the hole. And uh, the last one wasn't very neat, but anyway. Um, so I'll just switch it on here. And we managed to achieve 6.6 6 to 6.8 volts RMS with a peak to peak of 19.6. The waveform's a little odd. Um, but I'm assuming that's something to do with the uh, nice um, big thick coat of plastic around the wires and um, it's not quite on the core as you can see there's a bit of an air gap there but um, that stuff is extremely hard to bend around corners like that so um, we've got enough voltage now we need the current make sure that's there so next we're going to do a current test so this is how you do a 10 man current test you get a bit of 10 amp building wire and short it across the two terminals and if you get smoke then you've got plenty of current here we go three two one hey yep well there's smoke and there's fire <coughs> well there you go okay so we've got enough current um now what we've got to do besides put the fire out um is uh, we're going to have a rebuild here because we had a slight fire <laughs> a little while ago. We've got lots of fire going on with this um, setup, so um, I'm going to have to have a bit of a rebuild here and uh, maybe get away from the timber. All right, so um, that was just a quick video on our transformer build. We've um, definitely got the current we need there for sure. So um, and it's nice and quiet too. So. Uh, this might actually come in handy for some um, HHO projects later on, or a spot welder perhaps. Alright guys, um, I'm going to get out of the shed for a while until the smoke clears, so I'll upload this video and uh, you can have a bit of a laugh. Cheers.